Has there been a better song ever written? Nope. Today, thanks to the lovely patrons, we are watching Flash Gordon, the 1980 movie that had us all wondering, how can an NFL quarterback save the world? Uh, How do these bird men poop? Uh, Is it like a normal bird? Is it mid-flight? And who the hell are these canned ravioli-shaped mini-me's? So let's go find out because this is Red Eye Reviews. Originally, George Lucas wanted to make this movie. He was a huge fan of the comics, but Federico Fellini was optioning the rights at the time, so George decided to write something else. Oh, I don't know, how about Star Wars A New Hope? Ah, you know, nothing big. We start up in space. The inhabitants refer to it as the planet Earth. <laughs> I love that they are confused by the planet being called Earth, uh, but then they have a button on their ship called Earthquake. Uh, uh uh-huh. Hmm, yeah, no. Logic is not strong with aliens, I guess. If you didn't know, don't beat yourself up, but Queen wrote and recorded this song for our movie, and I could argue that's probably the best comic book song ever. I mean, next to na 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 Batman, it's uh, it's pretty close. But it is hot as hell out here. We see Flash getting on an airplane with some lady. My name's Flash. I know. Uh Uh-huh. No, I know your name. This is is a private plane. There's only two of us on it. So uh, just sit down and have a good flight, okay? But we start getting some real bad turbulence. Sometimes air rises above clouds and you get a... Meanwhile, we cut to Dr. Hans Zarkov, the man, the myth, the dramatic pointer. Check the angular vector of the moon. No mistake. It's an attack. Get your toothbrush and whatever. Back to Flash. <laughs> the pilots have mysteriously vanished. Ah, d- don't read into it. We don't get an explanation. Doesn't matter. What does matter is Flash has to crash land the plane, and he does so into the only building within a hundred miles. Good morning! I expect you'd like to use my phone. Thanks, I would. Dr. Zarkov is like, oh, you want to use my phone? It's right in there. Flash is like, well, gee, mister, that, that looks like a rocket ship. No, no. I assure you, it's a phone. Turns out, it is a rocket ship. Yeah, the little rascal. He wants to force us into space to fight the aliens. Well, I guess I'll be running along now. You lunatic! However, we all get stuck, and we get launched into this giant, the cosmic eyeball. We land on a mysterious planet. We meet some aliens who appear to be into some very kinky cosplay. Guys, hold, hold, hold. Prisoners, follow me. We also meet this giant floating Roomba guy. He seems kind of cool. Here, hold my hand. Hold, lizard man. Escape is impossible. <laughs> well, uh, that that didn't feel weird or out of place at all. Nope, nope, not at all. Okay, let's continue. We see these winged men inside. (laughs) We also see these like little people wearing giant pillowcases. I I don't know. I don't know. It's it's a very diverse group of people in here. While we are talking about a hunk of ice, we get discount Lando Calrissian running in. He claims the chunk of ice is his. The Oompa Loompa Squishmallows are not impressed. They just bob it around like like little Power Rangers. You're all color coordinated. It's adorable. Some dude tries to sneak attack the main evil villain Ming. To me. Ming- 
who we see is actually a grape in disguise. I don't know. The blood doesn't lie. And out steps Discount Princess Leia. She's like, ha, huh, get a load of my sexy showgirls. Now go and introduce yourself, outsiders. And they do. Who are you? Flash Gordon, quarterback, New York Jets. Oh, Sunday Night Football. <laughs> He's so used to doing these dumb sports intros. He just slipped right into it. Flash Gordon, the Ohio State. But Leader Ming demands to see the girl closer. She refuses, and he blasts her with, like, sexy slow dance powers. Uh, honestly, it looks like she's having a wonderful time. What happened to me? I don't know, but it was pretty sensational. So they demand to take the girl. Flash refuses and starts fighting. But remember, he's a football player. He's not a fighter. These are foreign movements to him. Yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> Football. Okay, I know what to do now. 21. <laughs> I see the brain damage has really taken its toll on our guy. <laughs> uh. Hey, if you play quarterback, you gotta run out of bounds, sir. This, this is a rookie mistake here. But after a hard-fought game, he gets blindsided and taken prisoner. <laughs> Tell him to go to hell. Maybe just as well. And here's a fun little cameo for you. This man is Kenny Baker. You probably don't recognize him, but he is very, very famous. Uh-huh. Say hello to the man inside R2-D2. Oh, so nerdy and it's so freaking cool. So Flash is to be executed. He seems a bit uncomfortable. Gotta look like the Black Knight up in there. They gas the hell out of him. It stinks to high heaven in that chamber. Say what you want, but they gave our man a really nice box, and that font is incredible. But the Taylor Swift wannabe interferes. She brings Flash back to life. I like you a lot. <laughs> Meanwhile, they start sucking the knowledge out of the doctor. His, his brain mainly consists of tigers and airplanes, I guess. Oh, no, okay, hold on, back up. Back up. Did he drown somebody? I think he drowned that lady. Did none of you think to get her out of the pool? I guess not. That was weird. But yeah, uh, his thoughts have been sucked up, and now they will brainwash him into being loyal. We cut outside where the clouds look like giant tongues. Back inside. They attempt to brainwash our scientist, and spoiler alert, it does not work. We get no explanation, really. It's kind of like the missing pilot, the hunk of ice the aliens fought over. It's all very vague. We don't really know. But our lady attempts to escape. So they send our supposedly brainwashed scientist after her, pretending to be her ally. Dr. Zarkov, are you a sight for sore eyes? Easy, girl. I think I can find a safe way out. Are you sure? Back with Flash and the girl, we are on another planet. Must hide outside till it's done. Oh man, this initiation sounds pretty X-rated. Ah, is it nothing like a good old-fashioned indoor gangbang to make a man out of you. That was extremely moving. You came! I brought you a present. Welcome back from the grave. I knew you were up to something, though I confess I hadn't thought of necrophilia. But she... <laughs> she pieces back to Ming, okay? Lando takes Flash. We cut back to the Doctor and Dale, who appear to have taken some magic mushrooms, and they are tripping balls. They get flown to some magical fortress in the sky. 
back in Endor. Flash has to go through some trial to prove that he's a man. It's the same one. Hopefully he won't moan as much as the last guy does. Please, end it now. Trick your back! Oh, Flash. You little devil, you. But as he is trying to escape, him and the Baron get taken by the Birdman. They also take magic mushrooms and they trip balls back to the flying castle, too. Flash! Boy, have I got some crazy stories to tell you. Save them for our kids. Damn. (laughs) Flash doesn't waste any time here. But the Baron and Flash get in a trial by combat with whips. The doctor's thinking of tigers. They're whipping each other. It's all very erratic. After many tense moments and several whippings later, Flash wins. He does choose to save the prince, and the group all decides to band together to fight Mink. His right-hand man shows up. He tries to fight us. We quickly toss him onto the spikes. Uh, Filled with helium. The spikes cause his eyeballs to explode. We're just going to breeze past that. So... Ming shows up. He takes the gang onto his ship. He leaves Flash Gordon to die. He does, however, escape on a sky do. That's what I'm calling it. It looks like a ski do, but in the sky. Nothing can save me now. How do you not get pumped when Freddie Mercury sings you in? God, I would follow that man into the mists of Avalon. So he has arrived. They take a big ship. They try to chase him down. Thankfully, his skills as the Jets quarterback has prepared him for this very moment. So, the deadly Harvey Birdman slowly and clumsily attack this ship. (laughs) Honestly, it's a miracle either side is killing anything. Back in the base... Our Lady is set to be married to Mink, and our two allies get rescued by Tay-Tay Swift. Back up in the sky, we have taken over the ship. Uh, It does appear to be on fire, but we also don't appear to care at all. As they are about to be married, Flash crashes the ship into the wedding, throwing all care of human life and otherwise right out the window. He tells Ming to stop attacking Earth, you fool, and he might spare his life. Ming waves a ring in his face, tries to control his brain, and Flash is like, Bro, I play football. I play football for the New York Jets. I've made a living getting my head beaten in every single play. There's not much left up there to control. Ming realizes that, and he, he just like kind of dies. Long live Flash! You've saved your life! Yeah! Oh, that was, that was great. I like that. What a convenient way to wrap up the movie. And everybody lives in peace. The winged Spartans do, the Star Wars extras, the pillow people of Pygmy. All of them live in peace. It ends with somebody picking up Ming's power ring and sneaking away, because they... They thought this was good enough that it would warrant a sequel, but that is it. So, let's head on over to Red Eye Reacts. As far as optics are concerned, this was definitely designed by a 12-year-old Call of Duty player. Take it from somebody who's researched camper vans a lot. This baby would cost like 50 grand nowadays. Haven't you any spirit at all? No! Wake up. Dale, wake. We're okay. Hey, don't open that! It's an alien planet! Is there air? You don't know! Good lord, what happened to your nose, sir? Bro, did you get Bruce Lee kicked in the schnoz as a kid? Come along, Fellini. 
this group is so diverse. <laughs> we got the showgirls. We got a, like Iron Man showed up. He's back there. The knights who say neat are here as well. It's amazing. You may see me sooner than you think. Lying bitch. It's just a bad dream. Oh, I agree completely. What's that? That's the planet Aquaria. Planet Aquaria, huh? Oh, looks like it hasn't flossed in ages. Do you want cavities, sir? Man, these Korean computer lounges are getting way out of hand. Flash. Hello. My father always drinks a power potion before he makes love. Uh, it's, it's Viagra. Just call it what it is. I love you. Will you marry me? Not now, Baron. You haven't changed. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Leave some comments as well. A huge shout out to the patrons. You guys selected this video. You voted on it. And here it is. If you want the power to do what they do and basically tell me what to do, head to the Patreon page. There's a link down below. There's also a great chance to get some merch through that page. I also have a podcast where I basically just kind of talk. I mean, that's all what a podcast is anyways, but I have one of those too. Link down below, Discord down below, merch store down below. I will see you next time, and until then, stay happy and stay healthy. Who are you? Flash Gordon, quarterback, New York Jets. Flash Gordon, the Ohio State.